You have a deep male voice but want to sound like the anime girl? And at the same time, you don't want to go too far with it. With the latest advancements in AI, you can easily transform your voice into your favorite anime character. Or maybe you want to sound like a VTuber. Yes, you can be Gorgura if you want. Or you can sound like Cartman from South Park. And all of this happens in real time, is absolutely free to use, and can be applied to any chat app like Discord. Let's begin with the installation. Introducing the star of our show, W. Okada's real-time voice changer. Unlike older voice changer programs that usually change only the pitch of your voice and make you sound either like a demon-possessed robot or a child that inhaled helium, this voice changer uses the latest advances in AI to perform real-time voice transformation by applying so-called RVC models. That can transform unique qualities of any input voice into a target voice of a specific person or character. And for most of the famous characters or celebrities, these models already exist and are available for download. Enough theory, let's download the software. Head over to WOKDA's GitHub page and scroll down to the section that says, we offer Windows and Mac versions on Hugging Face. It may look complicated, especially with all of these acronyms and untranslated Japanese parts, but believe me, it is easy to use and you will be ready to prank your friends on Discord in less than 10 minutes. You'll notice several versions available, including CPU, GPU, and Mac versions. For this tutorial, I'll be using the NVIDIA GPU version, as it offers faster voice conversion. If you're using a different setup, don't worry, just choose the version that matches your system. Click the Hugging Face link and navigate to the download section. Look for the file named VC Client Win CUDA 2.061 alpha zip, or the latest version available. It's a substantial download, around 3 gigabytes. Once it's downloaded, extract the contents to a folder of your choice. I'm renaming mine to Wokata Voice Changer for easy reference. The first time you run the software, it'll download some necessary modules. Once that's done, you'll be greeted by the main interface. Let's take a tour of the key features and settings. At the heart of the interface, you'll find the model settings. Here, you can select different voice models, start and stop the voice conversion, and use the pass-through feature. When the pass-through button is pressed, the sound inputted will be outputted as is. This means you can quickly switch between your transformed voice and your original voice as needed. The Gain settings allow you to adjust input and output volumes, while Pitch lets you fine-tune the voice transformation. When using a female voice model, you'll generally want to set the pitch to a positive value of around plus 13 to achieve a higher, more anime-like voice. Conversely, if you're using a male voice model and want a deeper sound, you'd set the pitch to a negative value, such as minus 12. Remember, these are just starting points. Feel free to adjust the pitch to get the exact sound you're looking for. The index setting is particularly interesting for RVC models. RVC, which stands for Retrieval-Based Voice Conversion, is a technique used in this voice changer for more accurate and natural sounding voice transformations. The index setting determines how much weight is given to the original training features. A higher index can result in a more accurate voice clone, but it might increase processing time. Next, we have noise reduction settings. The echo option helps eliminate echo, while SUP1 and SUP2 suppress background noise. These are invaluable for achieving clean professional sounding output. The F0S dropdown lets you choose the algorithm for pitch extraction. Options range from lightweight CPU-based methods like DIO to high-precision GPU-enabled algorithms like Crapeful. For this tutorial, 
we'll be using the RMVPE-ONNX option. This is a robust GPU accelerated algorithm that offers a good balance between accuracy and performance. It's particularly well suited for real-time voice conversion tasks like ours. Now, let's put this software to the test. The Voice Changer comes with six default anime voice models. We'll start by trying out the Tsukuyomi voice. For this demonstration, I'm going to input an audio file rather than using live microphone input. This is a great way to experiment with different settings and voice models without having to speak continuously. How do you do, fellow weebs? Check out my totally real anime girl voice. Isn't it just Sugoi? I'm definitely not a middle-aged man in a basement. Yeah. How do you do, fellow weebs? Check out my totally real anime girl voice. Isn't it just Sugoi? I'm definitely not a middle-aged man in a basement. Yeah. The transformation is incredibly realistic. The Tsukuyomi model has turned our neutral input into a convincing anime girl voice. Notice how it's maintained the intonation and emotion of the original audio while completely changing the character of the voice. It's not just a simple pitch shift. The AI is actually reconstructing the voice to match the characteristics of the Tsukuyomi model. This level of transformation would be nearly impossible to achieve with traditional audio effects. One of the most exciting features of this software is the ability to import custom voice models. There's a vibrant community creating and sharing voice models for all sorts of characters, celebrities, and even specific languages. It's worth noting that Discord servers hosting AI voice models can sometimes face challenges. For instance, the popular AI Hub Discord server was taken down some time ago due to copyright complaints. While we'll continue with the AI Hub Discord server for this tutorial, it's important to know there are other ways to find custom voices. You can search online for specific model names, like Gargura PTH, to find direct downloads. Platforms like Hugging Face often host these models, and there are dedicated websites such as AIModels.org that allow sharing and downloading of voice models. These alternatives might not be as active as Discord communities, but they provide additional options for finding the right voice model from various sources. Let's walk through the process of downloading a new model and adding it to our voice changer. First, head to the Discord server I mentioned, join and navigate to the voice models channel. Here, you'll find a treasure trove of options. You can use filters to find models based on artists, celebrities, e-celebs, fictional characters, anime, and more. There are even models trained for specific languages, so make sure to pick one that matches the language you'll be using. Keep in mind that using a Japanese model for English speech, for example, might produce some interesting but potentially weird-sounding results. Once you've found a model you're interested in on the Discord server, simply click on it. A side panel will slide out from the right, providing you with valuable information about the model. Here, you'll find a detailed description of the voice, audio examples, so you can hear it in action. I'm at a payphone trying to call home all of my change I spent on you. Betty, I'm proud of you tonight. Hike your down each your life. Just like animals, animals, like animals, moles. And, and most importantly, a direct download link. This link allows you to download the model file straight from Hugging Face with just one click. After the download is complete, you'll need to extract the archive. Look for a folder named Model Deer in your Voice Changer software directory. This is where we'll place our new model files. Inside the extracted folder, you'll find two key files, a .pth file and an optional .index file. These contain the voice model data. Upload both of these files into the voice changer software. The .pth file is essential, while the .index file, if present, can enhance the model's performance. But we're not done yet. Let's add a personal touch. See that no image thumbnail in the software interface? Click on it, 
and you'll have the option to upload a custom image that represents your new voice model. This is a great way to visually distinguish between different models you've added. Now that we've got our new model set up, let's test it out. Oh my god, you guys. Are we seriously pretending to be anime girls now? This is so stupid. We're a bunch of kids in Colorado, not kawaii school girls from Tokyo. Interesting. Let's analyze how this new voice sounds compared to our earlier Tsukuyomi example. Oh my god, you guys. Are we seriously pretending to be anime girls now? This is so stupid. We're a bunch of kids in Colorado, not kawaii school girls from Tokyo. It's incredibly fun to hear your words transformed into a completely different voice. It's like having a vocal superpower at your fingertips. Remember, each model might require some tweaking to get the best results. Play around with the pitch and other settings we discussed earlier. Now that we have our voice changer set up and customized, let's connect it to other applications like Discord. To use the voice changer on Discord or other platforms, we need to set up a virtual microphone. One excellent option is VB Cable, a virtual audio device that creates a bridge between applications. Head to the VB-Audio website at vb-audio.com. Click on the download link for your operating system. I'm using Windows, but there's a Mac version available too. Once downloaded, go to your downloads folder and extract the driverpack.zip file into a new folder outside of downloads. Run the setup.exe or 64-bit setup.exe file to install the driver. I've actually already installed it on my system, so I'll be skipping this step in our demonstration. Now let's configure our voice changer client. In the audio settings, you can choose your microphone or a file as the input for voice changing. Set the output to cable input, VB audio virtual cable. This sends the processed audio from the voice changer to our virtual device. Now, let's set up Discord to use our voice changer. Open Discord and go to your user settings. Scroll down to the app settings section and click on voice and video. Here in the input device settings, set it to cable output, VB audio virtual cable. This tells Discord to listen to our virtual microphone, which is receiving the processed audio from the voice changer. With everything set up, let's give it a test. Now let's do a mic test in Discord. Run the voice changer client, select your desired voice model, and then do a mic test in Discord. If everything is set up correctly, you should hear your transformed voice coming through Discord. How do you do, fellow weebs? Check out my totally real anime girl voice. Isn't it just sugoi? I'm definitely not a middle-aged man in a basement. Nyaa! That's it! Now you know how to sound like an anime girl, where to search for additional model files, and how to tweak the voice changer for the best sounding results. Play around with settings and models, and have fun trolling your friends in Discord, but play safe and don't go too far with impersonating other people's voices. If you run into issues or have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tutorials like this one.